Hello everybody, my name is Gray Bennett, and today I'm going to get into another Star System video. And because my last one gains a little bit of traction, I'm curious in how far we can take this. And because I got a background in software engineering, I got quite a few videos into it, cybersecurity, software engineering, and stuff like that. I figured, why don't we just take a look at some software within some games like Star Citizen, and how would it match up in a real world? Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the front end development because you know the back end stuff we can't see and really it works or doesn't work so with that one on and by, by the way since youtube doesn't like uh, me making tutorial videos how to make your own programs cybersecurity, and other things then uh, i figured that this is a good way to adapt the uh, learning style to something but if you do want me to make more videos like this leave a like subscribe share and also let me know what games you want me to take a look at, specifically what software within games you want me to look at. So, with this one in mind, for those of you who don't know, you have front-end development, back-end development, full-stack developers, which is what I dealt with. But uh, front-end development is basically anything that you interact with in the program. That's pretty much going through a front-end developer. Uh, Backend developers basically tying things in together, so like databases and things like that. And a full stack does it all. Uh, it does because you know you might only have one developer or uh, not enough developers to really just focus on one task versus another. So as far as things goes, we're going to be taking a look at the smartphone of this game. This is actually quite interesting as far as a player standpoint because uh, games like Grand Theft Auto has done something similar where um, instead of going to a menu, like a pause menu, to go to your inventory to do this, to do that, you can actually go through a simple, easy um, smartphone-like thing to get to a lot of places that you need to go. So, with that one in mind, it, it, the, uh, this is not a pod screen, things are happening in the background, this is a multiplayer, mass multiplayer game. So, big thing to note is, this has major problems. Um, and, and, and the reason why I was pointing that out is, anyone who's using a movie glass, there's a chance that you can actually see their stuff. Um, it's not high chance, most of the time that doesn't work. But it's kind of obvious that in the future they're going to have it where you can see other people's stuff. Now, can you see exactly what they're doing? Yes, no. That's going to be the question. Let's assume yes. If that is, then that is a cybersecurity issue. That basically you can see the person's account balance, where they're going to, and all of the other stuff. So that's a major, major, major problem. So a simple fix to that is either obscuring it through some background holographics. If they don't want to do that, then their solution would be something like the person has to wear glasses. It's much hard. You can kind of see things, but because it's so, so small, like a stamp, because it's so small, you can see it more or less fine, depending on you know how it is to your eyes. But a person talking to you will have a very, very difficult time looking at but of course the one of the problems is is if someone gets a camera they take a picture they might be able to see what you were looking at at that given time so that that's something to note now as far as things goes in um user interface specifically i'm top out something called ui or, or uh, ux so ui is the user interface so this coming up the animations all the other stuff as i mentioned before UX is user experience. This is very important for um, front-end developers because how does someone get to where they need to go? So if you're developing a website or an application or something like that, this is very, very important. The golden rule is three clicks at most. If you can shorten it down to no clicks to you know one or two clicks, that's fine. But do not go past three clicks to get to any part. This is a major reason why in many companies they have problems with people not using internal company systems to do things. Uh, if, if they, if they uh, can get around it through other methods. Because it tends to be that you might have to even go nine to ten clicks. And I could show you an example of that within the ship systems in, in a little bit. But as far as this... The smartphone thing, it is great. 
So you pull it up, you can easily go to the contracts and see the jobs and, you know, accept the job. So that's three clicks. Of course, you might go after four clicks. But in general, you just want to, the person land in the general area and um, they'll take it over from there. So, you know, do something for ship easy you know a single click that's a that's a big 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 thing now there is some problems with this so example is this the maps so by default it does have you zoomed in way too freaking close this is something that, that could easily fix by just zooming you out to about about that level and also i mean obviously all this is going to be fixed up down the road but this is something that they probably have you probably have fixed up down the road. Now, um, other major problem that I have with this is the icon, specifically the map icon. The map icon, um, no one's probably going to know what that means unless you play this game. That's not like a universal symbol of map icon. Map icon, a universal symbol is something like the um, compass rose or something around to that. The, uh, this, I don't think most people know what it means if they first come across it. Skyline, I don't think anyone knows what that means unless they uh, play this game. The fact is, is this is a bad design. They can easily switch out this icon with a compass rose and switch out the word skyline to map or universal map or something like that. Skyline, to me, says nothing. So as a player side of things, this is bad. This is a bad design. Not the worst design, but a bad design, nonetheless. And um, they just need to change the icon and, and the wording. It's like here. Everybody's going to know what this is because they know uh, after they play with this, they know it's a map. But they, they know exactly what that is because it's kind of like the universal symbol of getting it on top of you on, on your actual location. So use universal symbols when possible if you're designing your own website, applications, or whatever it may be. And that way it helps your your users as much as possible. The fact is, is you need to treat them like a three-year-old. A very advanced three-year-old, but a three-year-old. Um, because if you treat them go beyond it at all, most people are working while they're working a single job. The job that we're working is probably literally close to 6 to 13 jobs if we went back in the day and uh, all wrapped up in a single job and people are so exhausted so treat them like a 3 year old because that's about all their mind is by the end of the day so with that one in mind this is not a bad interface um, now as far as this where it's cut off obviously that's bad but that's just a bug they know about it so they're probably going to fix it um, sooner than later but let's just ignore that. If you got proper armor, like I got heavy armor. Um, if you got proper armor, then that should be fine. So just note that. Now, my other problem with this is some of the stuff right here. But this might be placeholder. My guess this means suit oxygen. But TF12, what, what does that mean? To me, that doesn't say nothing. It's gibberish. So, you know, that, that could be fixed, but again, that's probably just a placeholder. So, with that one in mind, let's uh, check out the trade terminal. So, if we go into here, we can actually see a very simple interface. So, you got one, two, and three, and you get exactly where you need to go. So, it's a very simplistic look at things. I mean, you might have to go through a fourth you know, just an extra step of cells, but for the most part, you're able to get to the exact area with minimalistic clicks as possible. Now, my problem with this is where it, it doesn't say it's it, it's out of stock. That, that might be an alpha thing, so we can overlook that. Now, let's go into the vehicle terminal. Oh, I do want to point this out. Even things like this is kind of like an interface. The um, they did a fairly decent job into this, which you know gives person a, a person whatever information. The one thing, if I was to program this, the one thing I would do to improve upon this is maybe do a um, 
clock here showing how much longer it, it, it is going to be to get to the next stop because it's very very planned it's very straightforward so that's that's something you know fairly easy to do but um with that one in mind it's not a bad interface now arriving now, as far as uh, th this interface, the Vehicle Retrieve Console, this is a very simplistic interface, very good design, in my opinion. Uh, it could be a little bit better, but for the most part, it's a pretty good design. Uh, basically, one click, just to activate, and you get most information that you need very quickly. Obviously, you can scrub it down and whatnot if you have enough ships, but you can say retrieve, not retrieve and so on um, one of the problems i do have and i don't know if it will show up here but if you do try to retrieve something and it can't retrieve it it doesn't tell you why something isn't retrieved um like say for example if there's too many ships on the thing it does tell you that so there, like, there's not enough um you know open spots it might it will say your whatever number in queue but short of that it doesn't give you any hint on what's going on um again that's an alpha thing a lot of times it's just you know several problems and whatever but getting it um claiming a ship and whatnot it's very easy to deal with uh, very straightforward you can see your times and and so on so it's it's not that bad now if we try to retrieve a ship real quick so we can go through the interface we can see that it tells us where we're going to go so within the three click rule we're able to get exactly what we want as quickly as possible now the one problem i do have with this particular screen itself is there's no way to go back see the thing is is oh i made a mistake i didn't want this ship i wanted another ship so in order for me to do that i have to fully close out by walking away and coming back and then I can pick an airship or just you know you, you don't have to say store you can just say retrieve but still the um, the fact is is you have to go out of your way to to go back there is no back button there in case you made a mistake but other than that it actually is a good interface now as far as the elevators the elevators uh, the the user interface for it is honestly not the best at all this is i think where all the elevators and the games can go to and the problem comes in is that if you use the focus like gameplay wise if you use that focus thing um in order to actually scroll up you zoom in if, if you know you can actually scroll down fine but in once you get it started on there you can you know scroll up and down like right now i like I, i'm trying to scroll up and down it ain't do nothing. I've actually activated this, then do that, and, and like it, like yeah, as long as my mouse is in a general right area, now that it knows that I want to do something with that, you know, I can release the F and the the inner thought button, and do whatever I need to do so it doesn't, you know, actually zoom in or whatever. Then on top of that, it, when I first ran across one of these elevators i didn't even know you can scroll down on it there's nothing here that looks like a scroll thing on the side this i have no idea what that does like i can drag it or whatever it does nothing that's other than to make that sound is it supposed to open up the doors the only way to do that is by pressing the button that correlates to the level that i'm already on and as you see it does nothing so, yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things. So, with that in mind, the interface on this is not, honestly not that good, simply because the gameplay part of it is uh, bad in several fashions. And plus, on top of that, the there's no indication on can a user scroll up, scroll down, um, or any of that. And then there's functionality like this. Again, I don't even know what that does there's no there's nothing saying if you press that then the doors open in fact that's what i assume that's supposed to happen is if you're in the level that you're you're um 
want to be at, you can press that door, that button, and it opens the doors or it closes the doors, and it doesn't. So, as far as things goes, take a look at the menu. Some ships, their color is different. But all ships at this time, uh, Star System 3.9 Alpha, it's, um, they're all the same. Uh, you know, different colors and whatnot, but other than that, it's, it's the same. So, as far as this goes, this, um, the, these stations, a lot, a lot of them are not that good. Um, unless you got some type of head tracker or whatever, it's not that good as far as where they're located and whatnot. But it's not, it's not horrible on some of these. Uh, let's talk about the interfaces. So, for example, the weapons, it shows you how many weapons you have and all the other. The um, there's certain things like the heat is kind of obvious what that, that's showing. Um, comms, you know, it's kind of obvious what, and that's also showing. But the the biggest thing that I have a problem with is like something like the power. Anyone new coming in here won't know what this is. Obviously, you know if you're if you're playing certain games, you you know exactly what this does, how how it works and whatnot. But anyone brand new um, honestly won't know heads or tails what what they're looking at. Um, and then things like the stealth or uh, the standby, uh, a lot of people don't won't know what that will do. Um, so my opinion in this case, because it is a big mechanized thing, you know, it's not it's not a simple uh, thing that he can quickly fix with a, a user experience change. A manual would suffice in this case. Now there is problems though, and it comes into the naming. So some people may know exactly what some of these things do, do and what are they. But the fact is, is can you tell me what a daybreak is? Unless you've played this game and looked it up and all the other. Can you tell me what that is? Or a frost star or all the other? It's stupid. My opinion is they should have just said either the brand and then done like something like cooler or to uh, just, just say cooler. And that's an easy fix. Say, say for example, if you go into a car and a fuse blows, and you go look it up in a manual, what fuse goes where, it doesn't give you the brand name of the radio. It doesn't give you the brand name of the headlight. It doesn't give you all that type of stuff. It just says radio, headlight, or whatever. And this doesn't. You have to look it up in different locations. And keep in mind that unlike dealing with normal systems, this could be in combat and the person needs to know what they're looking at in a split second while they're getting shot at. So they might need to overclock some guns or whatever it may be, but they won't know what they're looking at until it's too late if, if, they, um, if they don't already know what, what, which one's the gun, the brand name of the gun and all the other. So, with that in mind, the, that that is an easy fix. They can either, uh, in this case, um, replace that with what it is, or more not, an easier solution is a simple thing in quotes, saying you know, cooler gun, whatever, and that way the person knows exactly what they're looking at. So another problem I have is let's say for example because what's going to be happening um, is just like regular uh, flying an airplane uh, especially the bigger aircrafts it, it, you might notice that in front of pilots they only have like one or two screens kind of like this type of setup but the fact is is they may have other screens two sides but their primary attention and all their stuff is going to be in one or both of those screens and the thing is, is this is a bad setup, and 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 realistically, you want to keep it down to one simple area, uh, especially if it can go in combat at times. So if we take a look at something like the status. The f thing is, is yes, it's good to know where you're getting hit from, but you have to actually go out, go down, 
and go to here. So so let's just say, for example, let's say hypothetically I'm out in this page. In order for me to go into my ship status and change shield, I go here to just see the ship status, and I see, oh, I'm getting hit by a lot right here. And let's just say I'm currently in combat, bang, 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 and then I have to go out here and go here and then change whatever and then go back and 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 it's just it's just bad it's a bad interface what they should have done and if i was in charge what i would do is i would have had it where you can simply click that and you can uh, maybe do a slider up there or some other method but it's, it's fairly simple you just fill a slider up there and click that and, and you can actually say how much power it gets there or double click it and it, um, it prioritizes the shield hood front versus all the others. So that makes that even more easier. So, I mean, if you count it, so person want to go see ship stats and change shields. So one, two, three, four, five. You see the problem there. It doesn't meet the three click rule. Um, so the person has to go back and forth between two interfaces and they have to go and, and do what waste a lot of time um, clicking a bunch of things when a simple thing is is the answer. So that, that's a that's a big thing to note. Um, and that, that's something that, that could easily be fixed. So as far as that goes, um, if you like this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, share, and whatnot. But if you want me to cover a particular game, then let me know what game you want me to cover. And I'll see what I can do. Uh, I'm already planning to do Elite Dangerous. But if you also want me to cover a very particular function, even within this game, that I haven't covered in this video or you know a future video, then feel free to let me know and I'll see what I can do about that. But with that one in mind, let me know if, if I did something wrong, if, um, you know, what I'm doing right. And uh, I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.